praise the lord dearly beloved sisters and brothers we are in the immediate preparation to celebrate the great solemnity of the most sacred heart of jesus today the second day of the thridum i want to present before you an important theme very very important message that is the sacred heart of jesus is the source of true joy the more you connect yourself to the sacred heart you will be filled with constant joy true joy hallelujah and why i say so i shall explain it this way see jesus came to this world to help us to do the will of the father i repeat jesus came to help us doing the will of the father see doing the will of the father was one of the most important thing in the life of jesus that was so close to his heart that's why while coming down he said like this uh that is the first words jesus spoke while coming down according to the scripture it is in hebrews chapter 10 verse 7 he said father here i come to do your will so that was the f- most important thing in the life of jesus to do the will of the father and that's why jesus said later i tell you not everyone who calls me lord lord will enter the kingdom but only those who do the will of my father will enter the kingdom matthew 7:21 now what is the will of the father what is the will of god for us holy spirit reveals through saint paul in his letter to Thessalonians second uh, first letter of saint paul to thessalonians chapter 5 verse 16 to 18 i suppose this particular passage is very familiar to you there the scripture says rejoice always pray without ceasing and give thanks in all circumstances for This is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. What? Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. This is the will of God. A person who is joyful only can pray all the time. Because the joy itself becomes your prayer. How? Because the praise is the most beautiful expression of joy when you have joy you will constantly thank the lord for everything for all the experiences that is the constant prayer so this is the will of god now is it possible to be happy all the time answer is yes how and for that we need to know uh, almost 550 years before the birth of Jesus when people of God they were in agony in exile scattered different places and going through loneliness depression slavery there came a beautiful promise promise was this through the prophet sakaria chapter 2 words 10 sakaria chapter 2 words 10 the promise is this god said o children of israel rejoice rejoice and gl- be glad rejoice and be glad children of israel for i your god am going to come and live among you i am going to come and live among you 
so you should rejoice the reason for your joy should be me i will be with you and i will be the source of your joy so you should be joyful hallelujah and fulfillment of this promise came in jesus another 210 you know promise was in 210 sakaria and fulfillment was in luke 210 angel appeared and said don't be afraid i bring you good news of great joy verse 11 to you is born in the city of david your savior so this is the good news of great joy where chapter 2 verse 10 of luke another 210 matthew chapter 2 verse 10 seeing the star seeing the star 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 of jesus when jesus appeared when jesus was born there was a star and the magi the wise men three of them from the east they saw the star word of god says seeing the star they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy rejoiced exceedingly with great joy and going into the house they saw the child with mary his mother and they fell down and worshiped so answer of that promise that you should rejoice that was promise was in 210 of zachariah after 550 years fulfillment of this promise was in uh, uh, matthew 210 and luke 210 hallelujah so dear ones i always feel like uh, presenting jesus in this way that is jesus is the joy of the father sent to this world this fallen world troubled and saddened by the constant attack of the evil one the enemy who comes only to steal what what he steals he steals that which constitutes the will of god in our heart that which constitutes the kingdom of god in us what is that our joy because the kingdom of god is not eating and drinking but righteousness peace and joy in the lord so that is what is usually being stolen by the evil one his main work is that see with every sin what happens the reality is our joy is lost stolen but every sin may bring our pleasures see in sin what satan gives us is pleasures momentary pleasures but what we lose is our joy true joy the experience of the kingdom is god so that is the work of the evil one now first john chapter 3 verse 8 says the reason the son of god appeared was to destroy the works of the devil how he destroys the works of the devil how jesus destroys the works of the devil that is john 15:11 john 15:11 is the key jesus said i give you these words that my joy be in you and your joy be complete see the joy that's in my heart through my words i communicate to you so that your joy should be complete and the same thing jesus said while he is praying john 17 words 13 17th chapter is the prayer of jesus the high priest so jesus is praying for his apostles not only his apostles all the people who are going to believe in him the so for all of us he is praying in the prayer verse 13 chapter 17 13 he said i say these things while here on earth that they might have my joy in their hearts in its fullness my joy they might have in their hearts in its fullness that's why i give these words so john 16 22 jesus said so you have sorrow now but i will see you again 
your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy from you no one will take your joy from you hallelujah dear friends i sincerely feel and i quite often share with others one of the greatest spiritual responsibility that god has entrusted us is this we should not allow others to take away our joy i repeat we should not allow anyone to take away our joy that is the meaning john 16:22 i will see you again your hearts will rejoice and no one should take your joy from the problem with the world is this with most of us what happens is this we allow every dick and harry to take away our joy we allow every this and that to take away our joy somebody said something then i am sad somebody didn't say something then i am hurt somebody did something i am angry somebody did not do something then i am sad see sickness should not take away our joy joblessness childlessness or financial crisis even our own weaknesses or our own dear ones in our family or friends their weakness their shortcomings should not take away our joy because our joy is not so cheap so that others and all their doings and their sayings can simply destroy my joy no our joy comes from the lord and that's why psalmist psalm 104 verse 34 lord you are the source of my joy the lord is the source of our joy and the apostles they were sad they were depressed there was a time when they were depressed they thought because they lost their lord but the good news is this jesus is alive he rose from the dead and he came to meet the apostles and he showed them his heart his side john 2020 20. having said this jesus showed them his hands and his side and the disciples were filled with joy disciples were filled with joy now when they saw the heart of the lord the pierced side of jesus they were filled with joy this may be the first time when you see someone's wound and you are filled with joy jesus showed his side the wounded heart and the apostles were filled with joy and that joy now no one will take away from him they will enter into difficulties distress suffering you know at most persecution but they will not be sad anymore they are filled with joy that is oozing out from the pierced heart of the lord that's why in acts of the apostles chapter 5 words 40 and 41 the apostles they call in the apostles and they beat them so apostles were beaten and what happened to them words 41 then they left the presence of the council rejoicing greatly that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the lord so for him when they could suffer they were rejoicing greatly now nothing in the world can defeat them because the joy that is oozing from the heart of the lord is constantly there because they are now inseparably connected to the heart of the lord dear ones this is the message once you cling to his heart your joy daily will increase that's why pope francis 
in his apostolic exhortation evangelii gaudium he said everyone who encounters jesus will be filled with joy and this joy will be renewed afresh the joy of the lord that is why the word of god says joy of the lord is our strength so saint paul even going through difficulties and struggles and sufferings and pain and persecution he says rejoice in the lord always and again i say rejoice philippians chapter 4 words 4 dearly beloved children of god do you want to be happy all the time do you want to obey the will of the father this is the answer come to the heart of jesus cling to him like saint john experience the presence of the loving heart close to your heart and you will be you will be joyful all the time and no one will take away your joy by the authority of priesthood by the merit of the word of god i have preached i bless you now always and forever amen hallelujah